That's the ha. <laughs> Tree Frog wants to know what are three quick tips to pick up blitz pressure. He's having trouble picking up the blitz. Uh, there's some hot fire out there, and the frog needs to know how can you pick up pressure. All right, this is a, this is a great question. So first and foremost, Farls, go to a gun formation for me. Uh, and go to the gun doubles set, ideally. This would be good. All right, go back out. Go to gun wide trips. That's fine. Uh, all right, so if you're looking to pick up pressure and you need three tips in order to help you pick up uh, blitzing, blitzes from your opponent, here they are right now. First tip, the easiest thing you could do on the planet to get better pass protection, follows call and you play. Call four verticals for me. All right. Four verticals, and then just hit LB on the Xbox One, and then cl uh, flick the right stick up. What this is called is max protection. You actually don't have to pick who to block. You're going to block your tight end and you're going to block your halfback. This is a max full protect. You're going to have seven guys blocking. And if you notice, you have a tight end on the right side and a halfback on the left side. This is going to give you equal blocking on both sides. So instead of getting one-on-one -on, -one on the outside with your tackles, you should get double teams with your tight end and your halfback with the tackles. So that's the first thing I would recommend. So watch this snap of the ball. There you go. You get the double team on the inside, double team on the left side. More time in the pocket, hang in there, and voila, one on one catch Jeremy Macklin. Hope he. Wait, this is Chiefs Patriots. You do this on purpose? I don't recall. Anyways, tip number two play action. Play action is okay. your friend. So every formation in the game has a play action assigned to it. Farls, what is that play action? On? So to get it, you're going to press the X button on Xbox or Square on PS4. You can then flick the right stick to the left, or you just go all the way down to the bottom and. It's usually called PA something, but uh, it's almost always going to be the bottom play. That will have a fake to your halfback. It's pretty obvious to see where the Y button is that he's going to like run over and do a fake. Uh, for a little bit more advanced, you can actually cancel the fake by pressing the halfback's button. So Y, Y, and then RB, or R trigger, excuse me, R trigger to pass block. Now you see he's not going to go over to right. the quarterback. And that just gives you a little bit, uh, it takes a little less time. So I'll show you the difference real quick. If I just call the play action play, Wes is going to come over. I don't have control of the quarterback. Can't throw, can't throw, can't. Now I can throw. But <clears throat> if I cancel uh, the play action or I put the halfback on a route, you could also do that. You don't just have to press Y, Y, and then pass block. Uh, you could actually just like swing or something. Watch how much quicker I'll get uh, control of Smith. Boom, now I can throw. And also, um, you still get the, the blocking up front from the line of scrimmage. Right, so what really changes with the blocking is instead of having a like immediate drop back where they're in pass protection, the reason the blocking changes is because they're in a play action assignment, so they're, they're more apt to attack the line of scrimmage because it's a fake they're faking the run so typically what you'd see is the the offensive line a fake to show the run so that's where you're seeing the difference in run blocking people have always wondered that but that's where it is that's why you get different style of run blocking or pass blocking on the plate wow is that macklin again the mac daddy hey, is he, is he out this week uh he hurt his leg, but I know he's out The last tip I would give for pass protection here is to use slide protection. Now, slide protection allows you to pick pressure off, off of a specific area of the field. So if you're getting pressure that comes off the left edge, you would call slide protection, which would be LB on the uh, Xbox One, and then you'd flick the right stick to the left or to the right, whatever side you want protection. Uh, so if I'm sending heavy hot gas off this left edge, you yeah, can pick and, it up. And the real key is this, is you is you need to kind of see where people slide their guys out. That's been the tell. If people are really sending like the best blitzes at you, they have to, generally this year they've been sliding like the, the CB out, then they click off. And you see they kind of just like chuck them out. And that's kind of the tell. You got to pay attention because you you come out of the huddle, you're trying to make your adjustments. You're not really looking at the defense as much as you should be. You should be... You should know your adjustments have them memorized so that you can see, okay, did he slide him out left or did he slide him out right? We don't know. Um, but to do that, you're going to push LB and then slide left. So here we'll slide left. We'll see if we can pick up some pressure. Uh, you never know, but yep, it worked for us right there. We're going to roll out. We're going to go deep. Let's go downtown, Julie Brown. Oh, Macklin? Avant? Avant. Savant? Um, Anything else? Do you subscribe to like some people go? Oh, 
if they're sliding left, slide right. If no. they're sliding right, slide no. left. I don't I don't subscribe to that. Never have. Uh, it was one of those things, remember RG was explained before. Everyone had their theories. If you slide left against a blitz that's coming through the right A gap, blah, blah. No. What happened was the command wasn't working properly. They had to fix it. And the second you had A gaps, uh, when you call at the when you come out of the huddle, when people would call their pass protection from slide protection, it wasn't registering properly. So then they fixed it. So now, if you're getting a gap pressure, you slide down. Um, if you pinch down, you pinch down. Uh, I mean, that's that's how I play. That's that's where I've seen the most success. Uh, certainly, again, if you if you are having success doing something, keep doing it. Fourth tip, just because I'm a bonus type of guy, run the ball. Fifth tip. And this was a Gibbs tip from earlier in the year. Uh, run the half, run a receiver behind the line of scrimmage. Anybody who's off the line, like Avon is here, he's backed up, mm -hmm. and then snap him in the gap where you expect pressure. Yes, because he'll snap and he'll stop there. Um, that's something that's different from years past. Uh, I think that's probably the best pass protection tip in the game. Uh, because if you say that that time, snap them in the left left uh, a gap this time. Okay. Oh, pressure left a gap. You motion Avant, snap on left a gap. Sits there, waits for pressure in the a gap. Now it's next time, if he felt like pressure was coming out the left edge, snap him once he gets to the tight end here. I'll show it to me. He'll sit on that left edge. Um, so there's a lot of value I think in using an extra wide receiver. Snap and look, he sits there. He waits and now he double teams with the tackle. So that that's probably the best tip I can give you. Like if you can't pick up someone's pressure, and you aren't doing this motion, you're not doing enough I, to stop the blitz. I honestly, I'll forget that I can call play action, because I, I don't tend to call plays with play action, because most people don't send this cheddar. So when I do play somebody with it, I'm like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta throw to the flat real quick. So I, I'm, the, and then I'm like, man, I, by the third quarter, I go, well, what else can I do? And then mm. I go, I should have been calling play action from like the start of the game. Yeah. So you, you want to do uh, find plays that have some good play action. Check down underneath, try and make plays. Yeah. Get the ball out. Uh, wide receiver screens. I don't love halfback screens, but uh, those are some things you can do. Those are five tips you can do to pick up pressure in Madden 16. Dude, good guess what? Stuff. Nightbot took the day off. The bot? Slacker. And, big... and you know who else took the day off? Who? Wolf? Wolf? What's up with that? Wolf, because Wolf will be here to tell us to turn on Nightbot. 